Tuning in St. Mary's County has one student dead and another in dire condition in the hospital right now. If not for the quick reactions from the school resource officer, this could have been much more tragic. ABC 2's Don Harrison was the only reporter to talk with Sheriff Tim Cameron today to get a clearer picture of how this deadly shooting unfolded. A fresh blanket of snow cannot hide the tragedy that happened here at Great Mills High School. Three students were shot. All this fresh on the minds of the community, especially those first responders that were here at the school. It's, it's just a horrible, horrible situation. Sheriff Tim Cameron talking about the deadly shooting at Great Mills High School Tuesday. He says 17-year-old Austin Rollins took a handgun to school and shot 16-year-old Jalen Willie. Wounded in the shooting was 14-year-old Desmond Barnes as well. Rollins died Tuesday, two hours after the shooting. Barnes was released from the hospital, but Willie is still in intensive care. She continues to be in very grave condition at Prince George's County shock trauma. Sheriff Cameron says Deputy Blaine Gaskill responded within seconds of the initial shooting, but we found out today that Gaskill was not alone in his response. In, in addition to our school resource officer, teachers uh, from the school also engaged him. Our SRO fired a shot. Almost simultaneously, the shooter also fired his weapon. Sheriff Cameron says an autopsy will be done today to make it more clear if the deputy shot Rollins or if Rollins shot himself. That will give us significantly more indication and evidence of exactly what took place. Uh, and then to be able to recover the rounds to determine what exactly they struck and, and whom they struck. Sheriff Cameron says Deputy Gaskell is a true hero in all of this. He's an experienced, tenured, well-trained police officer who, when a horrific thing happened, did his duty as he was trained. Um, and so that very quick and decisive response ended what, what could have been a different outcome, certainly more horrific than it was. Sheriff Tim Cameron tells me that his thoughts are with the shooter's family as well as they suffer the loss of a child. The gun that Rollins bought to school was legally owned by his father. In St. Mary's County, Don Harrison, ABC2 News. Now there's a fundraiser for Jalen Willie, who was shot at Great Mills High School. The 16-year-old is currently in critical condition, and so far more than $50,000 has been raised to help cover her medical expenses on you caring.